Okay, so I got the camera lowered and I switched the speaker wires back to the Cora. And then what I did is I took some isoacoustic pucks and set it on top of the speaker here that is going to be playing. So I'll swap the pucks so it'll correspond to which one's plugged in and playing. So when you're watching it, you'll know where the sound's coming from. Um, so right now the chorus, we'll start with that. We'll just play a little something for about a minute or so, and then we'll switch to the Vestia number ones. Okay, so that was the Cora 806 playing, and now we'll switch over to the Vestia 1s. And as I mentioned, the uh, Vestia number 1s are a little more efficient. Instead of 89 dB, these are 89.5. Are we going to be able to pick that up in just swapping it? I don't know, we'll find out. So what'd you guys think? Were you able to tell the difference between the Vestia number ones and the Coras? I was at, you know, off access a little bit compared to where you guys are sitting. You're in a sweet spot with the mic. Um, but to me, it does seem like these are a little more, like it seems a little smoother. I wouldn't say I noticed so much more top end. It does seem like the cymbal playing on that drum was a little bit maybe slightly better um i think maybe some of it like i said will be due to you know giving these some time to break in a little bit more i don't know for sure but being off to the side i couldn't say there was a night and day difference um yeah, i'm sure there was i don't know and i didn't notice if these were really louder or not it's so close so this really to me and again, this is new out of the box, and I'm just guessing because I actually haven't spent time with it. But I feel like once I'm sitting there, let them break in and get some uh, time on some different types of music, I'll be able to uh, actually hear the differences. But I'm assuming, again, those differences may be slight, you know. Um, but again, as I was saying in the other video, the price difference, it's not like it went up in the these are double or triple the cost. 
So that's not really the case. I know you're getting all new technology in these with the new tweeter. And like I said, they'll play lower and higher, a little bit more efficient. So they should be slightly better, but I can't expect them to be night and day better, but I'd imagine that they are better. And for me, even if it was just based off of looks, these are much better looking speakers. So uh, let me see if I can pick something else out and we'll try it one more time with something else and see if that makes it a little more uh, definite. But the other thing too, like I said, we just need to get some time in on these. And then maybe what I'll do is do another video later on and compare and go back and forth. And so we get a little bit more of a realistic uh, or fair race, I guess you could say, since these are broken in and these are not. So uh, I'm gonna pause it, find some other music, and then we'll go again. Okay, so I have another track on there. It's going to be a female vocal. So I switch back to the Cora 806. So you can see the little on top. So we'll let that one go for a minute or so and see how it is with vocals. When you're down and trouble. And nothing, oh, nothing is going right. So close your eyes and think of me. And soon I will be there to brighten. Okay, so we'll switch over here, change these wires up, So that's that. And what I'll do is I'll go into video and then I'll just do quicker clips going back and forth so you can hear it more back to back without me talking in between or having to switch wires. And I was thinking that 
since we played a couple different songs, I have another one. It's going to be more, uh, let's say, more modern. And that way, kind of switch it up a little bit from, I guess this would be more of an audiophile song. So that way we have something that uh, a little more upbeat, kind of rappish or something. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll tell you at the end what my thoughts were, because I have been listening a little bit off to the side. I know it's not the same as being in the middle, but uh, I think what I'll do is I'll create a little bit of ambiance on this last one as I switch back and forth and kind of dim the lights a little bit and get some of the other accent lights on to uh, make it look cool. But uh, I'm loving these speakers. I think they're great. So here we go, last track, Cora 806s are going to be starting, and then we'll switch to the Vestia. The Black Beaters. 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 The Black So you have some A-B comparisons between the Cora A06 and the Vestia number ones. So if you want, you can put your thoughts in the comments. Um, obviously, listening to a microphone, you're not always going to get all the depth and all the spatialness and stuff like that. But like I said, I'm off to the side listening to it. And my first impressions, and again, I'm not sitting in the middle, but these do, especially on that last track with that bass in there, 
does seem like it has a little more authority. Like there is a little more strength on the the base and the bottom end. And that ting, ting, ting that's happening seems like it's, you know, again, off to the side, but it sounds like it's out in space here a little bit more than what it is with the chorus. And again, that's going to be that new TAM tweeter by Focal to make those highs a little bit better. And that, to me, stands out a little bit more. Listening to some of the other stuff, what I did notice is some frequencies on the Vestio number ones right now sound a little boxy. It's like that mid-range, mid-bass type of thing. That's kind of what I got from the Coras because the mid-range, like I was saying, I would say it's too mid-range. And you can notice it on certain frequencies where I'm like from here with the Vestias, it sounds like as if the box needs damping inside of it because it's almost like you hear the boxy sound and that's what the chorus sounded like at least somewhat that giving it time that breaking it in eliminated a lot of that so i'm hoping with some time the vestias will you know get rid of that which would improve the mid-range and whatnot and then on top of it, keep and maintain the quality of what that new tweeter is doing. So that would, after some breaking and some time, improve the speaker overall to make it better than what the core is. Right now, it's not drastic. I don't know what you guys heard. Um, like I said, it's going to be probably easier for you once I end up taking clips and just putting them back to back instead of the whole switching time. Because in real time, when you're doing it, you know, you lose a little bit of the uh, auditory memory, and that's not always so good. Touch the crowd, cause we're 
I do appreciate all you guys sticking around to the end and you know listening to what the uh, the new uh, Vestia number ones are like, seeing how they compare to the Cora 806s. And thanks for sticking around and watching until the end. So until the next one, listen to your music. Thanks a lot. So I can't complain. Yeah, I want the money, car, clothes, I suppose. Rap game pope, my neighborhood hope. As the plane I celebrate, I see my future way above the clouds, right below space. That's where they find me attentively. I'm on a whole nother planet, waiting patiently.